And now from TreasureIslandOldies.com, here's the rock and roll news for the week of April 28th. George Jones, the enduring country music hitmaker who perfected a heart-rending ballad singing style, died Friday, April 26th. He was hospitalized with fever and irregular blood pressure. Regarded as a country music icon of both traditionalism and integrity, he scored more than 60 top 10 country hits starting in 1955 with Why Baby Why. George Jones, gone at age 81. In other news, in 1968, Hair opened on Broadway this week. Barbara Streisand's first TV special, My Name is Barbara, aired this week in 1965. The documentary movie with performances by many R&B legends, including Jerry Butler, premiered this week in New York in 2003, and the movie was Only the Strong Survive. Herman's Hermits and the Zombies began their first U.S. tour this week in 1965. Elvis met Priscilla Bolio in Las Vegas in 1967. Actually, he married her in 67, and and their marriage lasted for five years. The Kingston Trio formed this week in 1957, and in 1868, the real Tom Dooley, of course, a hit by the Kingston Trio, Tom Dooley's real name was Tom Dula. He was hanged for the murder of his lover this week in 1868. Elton John became the first rock star to perform in Israel this week in 1979. Elvis appeared on the first issue of 16 magazine in 1957. In 1960, Benny King left the Drifters for a solo career, and he signed with Atco Records. Dick Clark testified before a congressional committee investigating Paola in 1960, and he was cleared. The Who debuted the rock opera Tommy for the media and the press at Ronnie's Jazz Club in London, England, this week in 1969. The Walker Brothers disbanded this week in 1967. Canadian customs officials arrested Jimi Hendrix. After finding heroin in his travel bag in 1969, he was later acquitted in court. Jerry and the Pacemakers made their television debut with this week in 1964 in the U.S. on The Ed Sullivan Show. The Moody Blues formed in 1964, and their first big hit single was by lead vocalist Denny Lane, who later joined Wings with Paul McCartney. In 1968, model Twiggy recommended Mary Hopkin to Paul McCartney, and he eventually produced her very first record. The first ever Grammy Awards were given out this week in 1959, and the song of the year, the record of the year, was Volare. Alan Freed's TV show, Rock and Roll Review, premiered this week in 1957 with the Dell Vikings, the Clovers, Guy Mitchell, Sal Mineo, and Screamin' Jay Hawkins. Ray Charles made his last public appearance as his recording studio was given landmark status by the city of Los Angeles this week in 2004. In the studio, Ronnie Hawkins recorded Mary Lou in 1959, Elvis cut Jailhouse Rock in 57, Fats Domino recorded Walk into New Orleans in 1960. The Orleans recorded Wawa Tusi in 62, Ray Peterson recorded Tell Laura I Love Her in 1960. The Beatles cut Something, a song written about Patty Boyd this week in 1969. Another song written about Patty Boyd, Wonderful Tonight, was recorded by Eric Clapton in 1977. Kathy Jean Giordano recorded her part of the song Please Love Me Forever in 1960. The Hollies recorded Carrie Ann in 67. Gene Vincent recorded Be Bapalula in 1956. Little Willie John recorded Fever in 1956. Chuck Berry cut Carol. And uh, Chuck borrowed the name from Clyde McFadder's girlfriend's daughter. And that song was recorded in 58. And our last studio session this week which took place in 1961 with the Jarmels. And a little bit of soap. Birthdays, Anne Margaret is 72, Tommy James 66, April Stevens is 77, late Donnie Donegan, born this week in 1931, Carl Gardner from the Coasters, born this week in 1928, Ray Beretta was born in 1929, Bobby V turned 70 this week, Johnny Horton, born in 1927, Johnny Farina from Santo and Johnny is 70, Judy Collins 74, Rita Coolidge is 69, Sonny James is 84, and um, let's see, not our senior citizen. Boy, we've got someone coming up a little bit older. 59 this week is Ray Parker Jr. Leslie Gore turns 67. Link Ray was born in 1936. Engelbert Humperdinck turns 77. Frankie Valley 74. 
James Brown, born in 1933. Mary Hopkin is 53. Pete Seeger is our senior citizen, and he's 94 this week. Dave Dudley, born in 1928. Dick Dale is 76. Tyrone Davis, born 1938. Peggy Santiglia from the Angels is 69. Nick Fortuna from the Buckinghams is 67. The fantastic Johnny C. is 70. And Cass Elliott gave birth to her daughter, Owen Vanessa, this week in 1967. And from TreasureIslandOldies.com, that's your rock and roll news for the week of April 28th. Come to the Treasure Island Oldies blog for all late-breaking news at treasureislandoldies.com. And then click blog. I'm Michael Godin. Treasure Island Oldies.